Hi everyone, hello, hello and welcome to our Instagram live. I'm super excited to see you joining us today, whether you're watching live with us in this moment, real time, or you are watching the replay of the recording. So happy you're doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today we'll talk about ways to improve productivity and performance in your business thanks to time management. But in the meantime, feel free to introduce yourself and let us know where you are watching from. And while we wait for more people to join us, I will introduce myself. If you've been watching us and our live broadcasts for a while, you probably know me, right? But in case this is your first time, here with us. Very happy to see you. My name is Sabrina Cadini. I'm a holistic precision life coach helping busy professionals live and work better by prioritizing themselves with customized lifestyle changes. And I am director of coaching here at MANA, helping our users take control of time which is the most valuable resource we have in the world and we help them spend time better. Are you a MANA user yet? If not, we would love for you to try our app. Uh, our time tracking app uses machine learning technology to predict future behavior and integra integrations with a variety of applications to drive peak performance in individuals, teams, and companies. MANA allows you to track how you spend all of your time, create goals, see their progress, and stay motivated along the way together with one-on-one -on -one coaching. And the app also encourages self-awareness with reflection and journaling so that you can learn how to maximize your performance and avoid burnout. And this is something that we'll be talking about today a little bit. If you'd like to check it out, go to mana.ai forward slash download. You will find this link in our bio to install it on your computer and on your phone, and then you can schedule a session with our coaches to learn more about our tools and features. Hello, Omar, how are you? We have uh, one viewer, yay! <laughs> I will also show you a quick tutorial in the app in a few minutes, so stay tuned. All right, so let's dive into our topic for today's broadcast. Merry Wednesday to you as well. <laughs> This week, we are celebrating Small Business Week. And in case you didn't know, small businesses account for half of America's workforce. Think about it. And they are vital to keeping the country running. Now, you can observe Small Business Week in different ways. You can shop local and small and help your community grow and evolve since small businesses usually reinvest in their communities by donating to school programs or local organizations. And you can also do any of these things. You can visit the U.S. Small Business Administration's website at sba.gov to know more about ways to start or run a small business for funding programs, local assistance, or attend the National Small Business Week virtual summit happening now. If you've been in business for a while, you can mentor or assist someone who is thinking of or starting a small business. And then you can also partner with another small business and celebrate the week with specials or open houses. Now, remember, if you use social media to promote your services or products, make sure you use the hashtag small business week to draw more attention. Now, let's talk about time management. Effective time management can be a game changer for your productivity and performance. And today we'll look at five ways that can help improve your business. And not only that, your personal life will benefit as well. So number one, use an app. To track your time and of course we are biased here right using a time tracking tool such as our app mana allows you to see where your time is going so that you can identify time wasting activities that are taking up too much of your time and not contributing to your business's success by tracking your time and analyzing the data you can identify tasks that you may be able to delegate outsource or eliminate altogether 
freeing up more time for high priority tasks. This allows you also to keep projects on track by monitoring progress and identifying potential roadblocks. By tracking time spent on different tasks and projects, you can get a better understanding of how long certain tasks take, which can help with project planning and scheduling. And you can also use this data to help you estimate timelines for future projects more accurately. I see this with a lot of my clients. When I ask them, how long does it take for this task you know, to be completed? And they're like, I don't really know. So they have to track their time to know, right? You can also um, use an app like our app MANA to track your time so that you can increase accountability among team members, which can lead to improved performance. By tracking time, you can ensure that everyone is working efficiently and contributing to the success of the business. By the way, MANA offers a reporting tool that allows you to do just that. And additionally, time tracking can help encourage employees to stay focused and avoid distractions during work hours. So this was a huge tip one. <laughs> now tip two, use a tool to increase efficiency. Examples are Asana or Trello. You may be familiar with these where you can prioritize your tasks and schedule them in a way that makes the most sense for your business. By breaking down larger projects into smaller tasks and scheduling them on a calendar or a to-do list, you will avoid wasting time on unimportant or low priority tasks. This increased efficiency can help you get more done in less time freeing up more time to focus on important tasks that, again, can help grow your business. Tip three, use a tool to increase productivity. The most popular technique is a Pomodoro timer, but you can use other productivity tools to break up your workday into focused sprints with short breaks in between. Additionally, try to eliminate distractions as much as possible during your workday, such as turning on notifications or working in a quiet location. When you're focused on the tasks that really matter most to your business and you set clear priorities, you can get more done in less time, which can help you achieve your goals faster and grow your business more effectively. Tip four is check in with yourself for better decision making. Whenever you're rushed and working under pressure, which probably happens all the time in your busy workday, it's easy to make mistakes or overlook important details and you should avoid making critical decisions. Instead, give yourself the time and space by including buffer time in your calendar to take a break so that you can fully analyze and consider your options, assess your progress, and adjust your priorities as needed and make better choices. And tip five, last but not least, actually, this would be my top tip. Set aside time daily to reduce stress. Meditate, exercise, carve out time for a hobby, hang out with friends and loved ones. There are so many ways to enjoy life. When you have a lot of tasks to complete and not enough time to do them, it can be incredibly stressful. I'm sure you agree with me, right? However, with effective time management, you can plan out your tasks and schedule them in a way that is manageable, which can help reduce stress levels and increase job satisfaction. What you want to do is to schedule those stress-free activities in your calendar and don't cancel or reschedule them so that they will get done. You are more important than your job. Remember that. Our app, MANA, can help you see where your time is going by tracking everything you do. And of course, the more hours you track during your day, the better insights you will have because you can really see what happens in your 24 hours a day or in your 168 hours a week. Now, so now I will show you how to track your time on our app with my 
iPad here and I hope the reflection here will not be too bright. So this is the <clears throat> home screen of the app and if you go to the track icon, which is the second here on the app, let me click on it, you can see the entire day divided by time slots. And so for instance, I already tracked part of the night with sleep until 7 a.m. And now I'm ready to start tracking my morning, which happened a few hours ago. So as you can see, the, the app is suggesting some activities because I've been tracking on MANA for more almost three years now. It's been a long time. So the app pretty much knows me and it knows my behaviors and what I usually do. I'm, I have pretty good habits, especially for my morning routine. So the app knows what is going to happen after I wake up in the morning. As it, and as you can see, meditation is the first activity that it's suggesting at 7 a.m. And yes, it's true. So when I click on it, I will have this slot complete between 7 and 7.30, as you can see it here. And then the next one is workout. And yes, I usually go for my daily workout right after meditation. So I will just click on this um, suggestion and I will have workout until 8. However, I usually do a little more than 30 minutes. And so I usually block one hour for my workout. So what I want to do is clicking on the two arrows that you can see between 7.30 and 8. And what I will do is select the end time, which in this case will be 8.30. So I click on 8.30 and the app will automatically adjust the time to 7.30, to between 7.30 and 8.30. And basically you go on time by, by slot every half an hour. You can also change the time intervals to 15 minutes, to five minutes, to one hour. So you have different ways to set up the app for tracking and make it faster for you. And uh, what I love about this app is that when you go to the reflect page, which is the the icon in the middle here, you can see what happened in your days, what happened in the week, and you can really reflect on how you invested your time. So for instance, this is my work week last week. And as you can see, I have all the activities that I've done and the number of hours that I spent. Did I invest all this time in a wise way, in a strategic way, or are there maybe time wasters that I should handle a little better, or maybe that I should change and improve, right? For instance, I noticed that I spent one hour for content creation last week. Can you see? Was it a good way to spend my time on this? Yes, because I am reorganizing my website and I am building new pages. So yes, I had to write new stuff. So I think one hour was definitely reasonable for that. If I saw more than that, I would start thinking, mm, maybe I should strategize better. Maybe I should optimize the time or maybe I should spend it in a different way, right? So again, the reflection page, I think, is the key in this app because it's not only tracking time that many apps can do. We're not the only one, of course, but the reflection is one added tool that really makes you ponder and reflect and understand how you're spending the time and how you can make changes and improve on that. That is also a way to improve not only your business, but your personal life. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the topic for today or about our app, Mana. Of course, I'm here to help with these live broadcasts and I will be very happy to answer any questions. I will wait for a few, few seconds while you type your question in the comment box. In the meantime, make sure that you follow us at Mana Hours on Instagram, on Twitter, and at mana.ai on LinkedIn. We also have a YouTube channel 
at one hour. So feel free to watch all the replays and the recordings there. We also have some videos about our time management course. Speaking of time management, right? And uh, we would love for you to try it. It's a five module course that really helps you improve time management, productivity, efficacy, and you will see a lot of benefits, not only for you as an individual, but if you have a team for your entire company. If you would like to try our app, you can go to mana.ai forward slash download. You'll find the link in our bio <clears throat> to install it on your computer and on your phone. And then you can schedule an onboarding session or a goal review session with our coaches to take, <clears throat> my voice is leaving me today, to take advantage of all of our tools. Thank you so much for watching us today and we'll see you in a few weeks with another live broadcast. Let us know if there are any topics that you would like us to talk about. We are here to listen and help you. <laughs> Thank you again. I'll see you soon. Bye.